Hi and welcome to uh, this Adobe Fireworks tutorial which will show you other ways of removing backgrounds from images. We've focused on using the Magic Wand tool um, but there might be times when the Magic Wand tool just doesn't work particularly well for editing an image and we're going to use this one. But first of all um, it's worth looking at the fact that this image is, is really too big to work with. It's 100% and it means I'm having to scroll up and down and, and change my magnification all the time. Uh, it's easy to change the magn magnification, but I'm also going to end up with a very large image. So what I'm just going to do is go modify canvas image size, and I can actually just change it. I find it easier to work in percent, so I'm going to say I want it 50% smaller. I really don't need an image, even for my cover, as big as this one. So if I click. 50, and now I've now got an image that's plenty big enough, and I can still have an image with a, with a decent size, and I can work with it. So if I want to remove the background, you can see this is a more complex image. There's more going on in the background, uh, and the background significantly isn't really one color. So if I use the Magic Wand tool, this is actually what happens. If I click Magic Wand, and there we go, we find that it's actually, even if I raise the tolerance, quite difficult to identify, isolate the areas that we need. Now here I've managed to do it on this side and you notice it's picked up the white area but left this window area completely alone so I can I can do that and then I can do it here and look again how it's picked up too much detail, it's picked up the guitar and parts of his hand so I change, I change the tolerance so we've seen how to do that in the, in the previous video there we go and that's a bit better now and that's done and that's removed that but so that's great and I've removed it, that part of the background but I've still got this window area here and it's just a pain to use the magic wand tool I could spend ages just filling and adjusting the values with that and I'm not going to get it so what I'm going to do is use a slower way to remove the background but one that works well when you really need to do do it kind of manually and when fine details needed I'm going to use the uh, the marquee the, the lasso tool now the lasso tool is very useful it basically gives you in fireworks 3 two options the lasso tool allows you to like draw a freehand kind of lasso area you get the crawling ants and anything in that lasso you can get rid of or you can select now lasso is fine but unless you've got an incredibly steady hand you would find it very difficult to draw, see I've already gone wrong there, a line all the way round without going wrong and even though I would advise you if I was doing this properly I'd, I'd change the magnification so I could see more closely very difficult to do so what I'm going to do is use a slightly different version of the tool called the polygon lasso tool now if I change this so I've, I've, I've clicked on the corner and I've got the polygon lasso and I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click here at the start and then you notice that it doesn't break the line. I can move the mouse around until I get it to where I want and I'm going to click there and I'm going to click there and what I'm basically doing is drawing a line around the edge of my image that's, that matches exactly the line of where it's going and obviously the, the closer I, the more I zoom zoomed in I am the better the detail I'm able to do now you're gonna say this takes ages and yes it takes a, a longer time to do but sometimes photo editing you need to take a bit more time to get the results okay so it's so no one ever said that it's a quick or an easy process to do this so I'm gonna carry on doing this and show you in a few minutes what happens when you get to the end so I'm gonna pause the video and then restart it again when I've actually done my line. Okay, so I've drawn all around the image now. It's taken me a while. I've still not done a brilliant job. But I've just got to the point where I've gone around the image and I'm back to the start again. You can see that's the point there where I began. And what I need to do at the end is I need to join the dots together. And when I do that, I get the crawling ants effect that we saw before with the Magic Wand tool. And what I will be able to do then and see what I've done I've gone all the way around and I've isolated all of this top part of the image there and if I press delete 
it's all gone and I'm just left with the picture of my guitar player and you can see I've still got a little tiny bit of leftover for my image there and again I could use the eraser tool and I could use the um, there we go, marquee tool just to quickly get rid of that and what I'd advise you to do is if it is, is, is maybe just don't do it to finite detail a good idea is to zoom in do it rough and if you really want a good quality image you could then follow up by using your razor tool so obviously that's far too big but I could use the razor tool to do some fine detail with the, with my rubbing out so I could get rid of particular areas that were left so if I wanted to just get rid of that bit up there I could do so what I've had to do here is combine different techniques that's the important thing and that's sometimes what you're going to find you're going to have to do is use different techniques together to get one result so I started with the magic wand tool and then I've used here the lasso tool and I've used the polygon lasso tool and the marquee tool between them I've managed to get me something approaching a decent image and then what I would do as always just like I did last time is I would save this and again making sure that I'm saving it as a portable network graphic so fireworks PNG meaning I can edit it again and I've got my transparency so that's shown you how to remove backgrounds and other parts of your image using techniques other than the magic wand tool so hopefully you'll begin to recognize when the magic tool one tool will work and when you're going to need to use the lasso tool and when you might need to combine the two so I hope that works for you. Good luck editing your own images and see how you get on.